In this video, I'm gonna go over some of the picture profiles I use. Uh, if you use uh, Sony cameras, in my case, I use a uh, Sony A6300. There's nine different picture profiles, but I'm just gonna go over some of them I use. I haven't played around with most of them. And even within each picture profile, you can change some of those settings to get a different picture. But let's just go over some of them. Um, when, when I first started doing this video, I was gonna use pictures because I thought, well, what the heck, it's the same thing and I'm gonna get a smaller files. But I quickly learned that you get a different color from the, if you can see here, the picture mode, this is a picture mode, to the video mode. This is a video, let me play it. And this is a picture. And you can see the tone is uh, greenish compared to the actual video. So, this happens throughout the other picture profiles and it even happens uh, with kit lens because I also thought, well, maybe it's the lens. I'm using a vintage lens called the Roker X 50 1.4, but even with the uh, Sony's uh, kit lens, the 16 to 50 millimeter, as, a, as a, you can see here, um, this is a video. Now here's a picture. It's also a little bit greener. So from here on, just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna forget about the picture since most of us are doing video and just focus on uh, the video because even with the same settings, you can see it changes the color. Okay, so here is uh, picture profile five, Cine 4, and I already color graded it with using a LUT. Um, in this case, I purchased or I downloaded this free plugin by MLUT and I applied uh, another free LUT by IWLTBAP called Arapo Standard because Standard works better for Cinefor. Um, and I decreased the intensity and I also did a little bit of uh, exposure. I added a little bit more light to the exposure. When we look at Picture Profile 7, Cinefor, this is also a video, it's a little bit lighter using the same settings and uh, but I applied the same light and the same intensity as you can see there now if we look at picture profile 7 s log 2 I had to apply the, is the same light but for log as you can see here and I think the color, if you can see, it's a little bit um, more colorful than than the Cinephore. I I don't know personally. I like this one better, but if we go look at S Log Three, you can see that it's a little bit brighter, and that's because when you're shooting S Log Three, the picture on your camera looks flatter, and it's harder to get the right exposure. Now, if we look at picture profile eight, it's in a four, you can see it's darker. When you're shooting S log three, it's harder to get the right exposure. Just be aware of that. And also see that uh, with Cinefor, the colors are a little bit, uh, I don't know, harsher. They're not as creamy as shooting with S log, as you can see here. I don't know, personally, I, I just like the picture profile seven S log too. You also want to be aware that for all of these, I decrease the intensity and you can always change it and get different results. But I try to be consistent amongst um, all of these, except for s 3, I felt like I could go higher with the intensity. Uh, but let's move on to the other one I did. Um, I wanted to test these this picture profiles with the same LUTs using a, a studio setting indoors without any natural light and see what would happen. Let's move on to the different picture profiles. Uh, this is Cine 4, picture, pro, picture profile 5. And if you compare it to picture profile 7, it's a little bit darker with the picture profile 7. And it's also a little bit more saturated. Now let's compare it to s Lock 2. I think the colors are a little bit more 
are creamier, or softer, and it's a little bit lighter. And I think that's because we're shooting in S-Log and it, we have to shoot it uh, with ISO 800, but also because we're capturing, capturing, I think, more information. So if we compare it to Picture Profile 8 Cine 4, you can see that the color is a little bit flatter. Um, the only difference here is that I set the intensity of the light to 60%. This is at 40%, but you still, you know, get a little bit of a creamier color, not as flat as the Cinefor. So in this case, I think I would go with the Picture Profile 7 s Lock 2 again. I just think it looks pretty good to me. Let me just add that I am not a professional color grader. This is just my own um, perspective, my own judgment. And this this uh, this uh, picture profile seven S Lock Two might not perform as well in other settings. Some of these uh, might work better in the outdoors or depending where you're at. Also, um, the color temperature can affect the quality. So there, there's a lot of settings you can play with even, even with the, within each profile and uh, with the color grading, which I didn't do any of. I only played around with the exposure for all of these. So I would just encourage you to play around with them and see which one you like best. Um, if you have any questions, let me know because there, there's a lot that goes into it and it's pretty confusing, but once you get into it, it you start seeing what you like and what you don't so let me know